this is uh, Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and Natty Beats. Mm -hmm. And today we will be um, clearing false light um, guru issues. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yep, um, this has come across our table again. You know, I have a, a video, um, you know, on how, you know, to, you know, clear guru contracts. That's pretty much the same, very detailed. It's quite long. This is here a lot quicker, you know, a lot more entertaining. Mm -hmm. And just you know, you know, hip hop and go kind of maybe a 20 minute thing, you know. Um, well, Natty beats, you know? she's beating the beatbox now, so there's a good beatbox, you know. So, and, and she uh, will do some light language, you know, to do some clearing. So, it's going to be a you know, slightly different process than you know, my guided meditations. And as always, let's have some fun. And we ask that everything that happens here and, you know, in this meditation and from this meditation and podcast is for the highest good in divine harmony, you know, with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, and, you know, just agree to this. You know, definitely very good. You know, and we ask your high selves, you know, and um, the divine beings like Archangel Michael, the protector beings, you know, to place each of you, you know, in this um, super protective, you know, chamber of love and light. You know, your spirit guides in your high self, they can specify, you know, what they want particularly, you know, to keep you super, super safe, you know, because we are talking about, you know, unsafe spiritual teachers. All right, Nadi, um, what you got to say? So, uh, the reason that I um, got in contact with Wolfgang and asked him to do this clearing as kind of a collaborative thing is I, over the past week, um, I've had, I had four people message me in three days specifically asking for sessions on past teachers or mentors, um, literally plugging them, psychic attacking them. One of them, it was from a, an online course. One, it was a mentor they trained with for ages. Um, and uh, yeah, it seems to have come up in the forefront a lot. I also went to an event recently that uh, was a bunch of false light bullshit. Let's just put it that way. I ain't sugarcoating nothing. Um, and basically, I went there just to see how it was. It was a spiritual event. I normally avoid them like the plague because I know of all the false light plugging and everything that goes on. And um, I had some physical health issues. So all of my energy was healing my body. And I ended up getting attacked and plugged. I had a session with Wolfgang. I had 37 attachments all around my head. And I am someone who is very psychically tapped in. I'm very protected. I work with dragons. So if they were able to plug me that much, what the hell happened to the other people at the event? So um, my guides were prompting me that it was time to get up and do something about it. They, they said very clearly not to send anything negative not that i ever would never send anything negative like any revenge or anything back to the person don't try and curse them or do anything like that you're just going to end up in a big karmic tangle we just want to hand them up to the light and um, they also said for me not to name and shame them not to publicly say anything about this organization so i'm not going to um, because again it's just going to pull you into a tangle and attract more negative karma and just more physical attack what we can do, they said, if um, I combine energy with Wolfgang, it's going to be a lot more powerful. So we're literally going to combine our energy and abilities today. Um, and hopefully this is going to blast out far and wide. It was also a lot safer. Uh, my guide said it was a lot safer doing it with the two of us because um, in my experience, one plus one doesn't equal two when we're working with spiritual energy. It's like one plus one equals a thousand because it's both myself and Wolfgang and all of our guides. So <laughs> hopefully you guys feel this um, and hopefully it helps. You can come back to this little guided meditation as many times as you want. Uh, each time it will just clear a deeper layer, sometimes with psychic attack in this way when it's been done kind of intentionally or where there's a big parasitical spiritual network behind it. There is all sorts of layers and booby traps and things that we just have to chunk through. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this helps a lot of people. Um, I Before we go into Wolfgang doing clearing, I'm just going to 
call in my dragon guide specifically. I would also like to welcome in the she who I work with a lot and any ET guides that we work with, any that are approved by our individual higher selves and everyone who takes time to do this in any time space reality. The guides that take part need to be approved by everyone's individual higher self so we keep it nice and safe and that everything is indeed as usual for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Please explain what the she are. Not everybody knows. Okay, so I know very little about the she. I channel them. Um, but in my experience, the she are these amazing tall blue beings. They exist in uh, an earth that is kind of an overlay of our earth. They used to be part of us once upon a time before the big separation happened, the big experiment, whatever you want to believe it, whatever you call it. We were at one with the she. Uh, we descended into density and into matter and became humans and they stayed where they were. Uh, <laughs> thousands of years, we've been separate with them. They've wanted nothing to do with us. There is some of them who have wanted to come back, but the energies haven't allowed it because we've been so in dark for so long and so dense. Now the energy is changing. The she are starting to come back and connect with us and work with us. Um, for the most part, some of them are still on the fence or just turning their back on us. Some guides are coming to work with us. Um, I've been fortunate enough to be channeling them for the last, um, I think, six months ago they started coming through. They are very powerful in working with the grids of the earth, the crystal grids, standing stones, the energetic nodes of the earth, astral crystals, the fairy realm, like all the earthy stuff that, to be honest, it's taken me a long time to work with because I'm normally all up in space. Uh, but the she are actually children of the stars. So whereas fairies, which they often get mistaken for, are children of Gaia, the she are children of the stars. So they're kind of uh, almost like counterparts to the realm down mm -hmm. here. And that's who they are. But I'm sure they will make an appearance and allow you to feel their energy in this. Yeah, they're already here. This is and hurt me here. <laughs> if you feel a tingling all over, you know, your body, your legs, your arms, that's them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we ask now, um, you know, that your high self you know, and your spirit guides of love and light you know, surround you, assist you. Also, the ancestors of love and light that are approved by your high self and those past incarnations. You know, all those we ask together. You know, and of course, Absolute Source and Gaia and Milky Way Galaxy, you know, a big corporation of the beings of love and light. You know, we want to clear, you know, the um, false guru, false light guru, you know, fake gurus, you know, and wolves in sheep clothes, so to say. You know, we come and trust and light and believe them, give our power away, give our money, you know, or open our hearts, and get taken for everything, you know, we have, you know, plus our future. So please assist us. Amen. 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 Make sure you agree. And so I would say, you know, you probably, you know, have lots of aspects that, you know, got trapped by false light gurus like this. And we also might have been false light gurus, you know, in past lifetimes, you know, because we walk both sides of the fence, you know, for educational purposes. So both aspects we like to have either brought to our tour, you know, healing ascension temples or if necessary to the courts of divine justice, if they had as, you know, and the one that you forgiven as well, they can work this out in those courts. Mm -hmm. And then we ask that they be all helped, you know, in counseling, you know, we unite them with lost love and show them the higher plan, you know, of their incarnations, what was planned, what was karma, what was sabotage from the dark side, spells, curses, etc. And then help them with forgiveness, you know, lighten their load and bring them into the heavens, real light heavens, not false light heavens. Mm -hmm. Liberate any of those that got stuck in false light heavens too. Mm -hmm. Everything, of course, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. You know, you agree, it's are your ancestors in your aspects. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, and I'm just getting guided to add in um, while these are being cleared. If you guys just go ahead and tap into your root system, so feeling into your roots going out the base of your spine and your feet, 
um, usual drill that Wolfgang and myself did at the beginning of meditations, but today we're going to add a little twist. Uh, once you feel into your root systems, I want you to use intent to grow these roots up around you. So imagine them literally growing up around you, creating kind of like a nest. Um, you might even imagine, go a little step further and like to imagine or invite yourself to sink into the earth. So we're going to create a really safe cocoon to um, do all these clearances with and just so that Mother Earth is going to really, really hold you and keep you grounded throughout this process, stop you getting dizzy. And again, just extra security and safety is always good when we are dealing with the sticky stuff. Um, and while you guys are growing out your roots, I'm just bring, going to bring in uh, transmission. <laughs> of course, this is from the she straight away. We are the leaders of the lost world. Many of you may stumble upon our presence at this time. So many do not know of our presence that we are having to use any channels we can to slip in between <laughs> within your soul and make ourselves known in the safest and most non-threatening way possible. This is very difficult because, of course, everything requires that you have free will and that you give permission. And only those of you who have met us in past lives have give permission. But we would like to connect with so many more of you at this time. We would like you to give us permission to come through to you individually, whether it is in past, whether this is in meditations, whether this is in dream time, we would like to connect with you and bring much healing and remembering back to this planet. If you are feeling this transmission and you are feeling this energy, it is likely that you are ready to work with us. We hereby banish all false light from this realm. We hereby banish all false light from the soul matrix of your each individual soul that is listening to this. We banish all parasitical beings. We banish all vampires. We banish all false teachers from this and all other timelines in all time space realities. And so it is. Okay, they are prompting me to hand the spiritual microphone back to Wolfgang for this next little bit. This is fun. <laughs> okay. So um, in many lifetimes, you know, we did heavy, severe contracts with those spiritual masters, you know, of submission, of giving away of power, you know, many times, you know, for eternity, for lifetimes after lifetimes, you know, whether these are light gurus or dark gurus, you know, and uh, many of them didn't actually make it to the light, you know, they weren't fully connected to source. You know, they were not qualified, you know, and keeping us back, you know, with their old opinions, with their biases that are not in alignment with source. You know, that's the problem, not in alignment anymore. They may have been stepping stones. You know. So all these, um, of course, many times we got tricked, you know, we made contacts and submissions to beings, we thought beings of love and light, and they were infested, you know, with draconians and other dark beings, you know, and we are getting plugged and you know, we're submitting and giving permission to access, you know, to those dark energies, to us, you know, and to take our energies, good fortunes, etc. So all these are contacts where we were misled, you know, we like to have cleared now. In any context of enslavement, binding, you know, entrapment, selling our energies in exchange, you know, or for benedictions, you know, and, um, you know, um, selling our descendants, you know, uh, yeah, you know, whatever entanglement, you know, we have done, you know, with those false light beings we like to have clear, and also any courts, you know, that have been established with them through which they can influence our minds, our hearts, and our life force, 
take in rope and dunk dark camel. Please find or remove on Clio. Continue to finish. Um, and, um, and, um, and should please, she's clearing like crazy. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so smile and breathe deeply. Mm, smile, everybody breathe, 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 breathe deeply, deep breathing. Mm -hmm. Connect to the earth. Mm -hmm. And we asked heavenly vacuum cleaner beings, you know, you pulled out the dark chi, the dark karma that's being released, you know, and transmuted, send it to source, mm -hmm. the big recycler. <laughs> they have it transmuted. I think Natty, you know, there's something to pitch in with light language now. <laughs> my hands are going absolutely crazy. My hands and my mouth are going crazy. I was just having, I just had the word a ruler come in and I was asking who a ruler was and then I saw loads of yellow and I have the, um, the angels of the sun, the angels of the sun coming through and I think a ruler is a, a yellow dragon if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check. Yeah, the ruler is a, a big yellow sun dragon um, coming in. So welcoming in sun angels and a ruler, this big yellow dragon. So we're just seeing um, this feels like a this feminine energy. Yes, feels like a feminine energy. And this dragon is like just flying around. Those of you on the, this session who are clairvoyant, I hope you can see her because she is beautiful. And she is just coming through with a transmission. You are all the children of light. And because of this, you have been hacked and sabotaged through many, many, many timelines. But this parasitical programming is now coming to light in many different dimensions. And indeed, here on this earth plane where it is most prevalent. The dragon collective is rising up at this time to fight back against the false light agenda that has been seeded into the matrix of this earth. But we need your help, dear ones. Mansara, We alone cannot do this work. Fiarsat, fiarsat, fiarsat. We need you all to individually do your part to bring these parasitical orders to light. We are not suggesting that you try and approach them head on if this is something that you are not trained in or have not the capability to to do but by merely holding your own light by merely clearing your channel and being authentically you in the face of so much falsehood mingara satsa mingara satsa your light will spread like a positive virus throughout this planet allowing other people to clear their channels and be authentically them allowing other people to have a clear connection with source to clear out of the way all of these agendas and distortions and beliefs and opinions that are getting tangled up with so many so-called spiritual teachers now we invite you to use your discernment in taking in any information from any so-called spiritual teachers or mentors or gurus at this time even if they are presenting themselves themselves as if they are in good standing with their guides and with source even if these people are very famous or very well known or revered as being sacred masters since please 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 use your discernment dear ones the deepest part of you can see the deepest part of them allow yourselves to see through the veil of of, to use a human word bullshit that I, I use the words that it, in my head by the way guys just just a clarification my dragons are pretty much the only ones that come through with swear words because they're talking through me <laughs> slang works yeah and it makes me laugh a lot 
But it is a word that resonates. That's fine. Sorry, everybody. You can you can continue. Vingyar sa tuviar sa vingyar sa vingyar, vingyar sa vingyar sa vingyar. We are bringing forward now a seed of light. We are hoping to implant this seed of light into the consciousness through this transmission through each of you. May you carry this seed of light into the future and integrate it and plant it and grow it within the very seat of your soul and expand it and shine it out into the world. The more pure organic light that we can seed and expand into the planet, the more that the false light agenda will have no choice but to crumble and fade away. Shiarsa, shiarsi, tia kusa, frisangar, si varsa, tinzar, sa, tinzar, si, 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 arsa, binzar, savusa, ursa, iki, sut, asa, ta, ta, ta. I give permission for all of those who would like to call upon me by name to work with myself and the angels of the sun. King Garsat, I am volunteering myself in service. Imarsa band, irsa, tsiki, kiki, kirsat, irfasatai. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So her name is Arula. Um, dragons um, don't always come forward. They're not very forthcoming with allowing people to call on them. Um, I've recently channeled an oracle deck and there's some in there that you're only allowed to work with when you pulled the card and others of them you absolutely do not, no, no point on calling on them because they just won't answer you. So often dragons come through to you, you don't call on them. But um, Arula is obviously stepping forward. So that's something that is absolutely amazing. I want everyone to send a big bomb of love and gratitude up to these angels and up to this amazing dragon. If you don't trust him or did not trust him and you listen to the recording again, just send some love to these beings. And if they're squirm, they're fake. If there are more love coming back, they're real. You know, the false light beings cannot produce decent love. That's how you know. I tested it for myself, but and you know you take responsibility, you know, for yourself. Um and um uh, Okay, uh, you know, there's some more. You know, of course, I can guarantee you, you know, that our ancestors, you know, not us in our past lifetimes, you know, our ancestors, you know, they're, they're all of them walked on the dark side. Not that all ancestors walked on the dark side, but we all had ancestors that walked on the dark side. Guarantee, I mean, you also walked on the dark side. You know, we walk on both sides here in this reality part of the curriculum otherwise you stay in the fifth or higher dimensions you know you come here for the dark side right? that's the idea you, you know you watch a horror movie to get scared huh? you know, the, you know, same thing here so um you know we asked you know, that all these ancestors that made contracts and that got stuck you know with the dark side you know selling our soul <laughs> or parts you know, of our connection with source to the dark side, doing all kinds of deals and trades, you know, sometimes for greed or attachment, you know, addiction, you know, for power, sometimes to protect their people, you know, they thought this is the only one that can help them, you know, for many, 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 many reasons, even in dream time, under intoxication, hypnotized, you know, or whatever. So, you know, we like to have those also bailed out, you know, brought to the actual, you know, feeling and sense and temples and other facilities, you know, where they can be reunited with lost loved ones, you know, cleared of those contracts, you know, through higher insights, you know, take those courts if necessary to the highest courts of spiritual justice, you know, so this can be enforced, you know, we ask perpetrators, you know, to be, you know, also, you know, called to justice and kind of to be removed from this realm or the, the sphere of influence, you know, removed from, you know, this realm, you know, for the highest good, of course. And, you know, um, yeah, so please facilitate this mm -hmm, and clear anything that keeps, you know, us mm, and our ancestors still trapped and bound, you know, to false light gurus. You know, whether it's chains, you know, wounds, um, black magic, you know, uh, well, locks, you know, an invocation, contracts, promises, vows, you know, booby traps or bombs, hmm? and um, high-tech 
you know, entanglements, you know, chains, cages, and other technologies, you know, even an alien stuff, you know, um, you know technologies you have no clue, you know, like time pockets, you know, astral sub pockets, etc. The angelics know exactly what it is, and so we ask them, you know, to assist on synergize the effort. Now, Amen, 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 Netty, please go ahead. Right, so I, just, I got really, really, everything went really calm and quiet then. I think they were, they were preparing me for the next, the next one. So let's see who is, um, who is coming in. I can see blue wings. Looks like, looks like a butterfly. Are these the blue fairies? Yeah, I think this is from the fairy realm. So this is not specifically blue fairies, but it's from the fairy, a transmission from the fairy realm um, and all of the beings who reside there. さてかてこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっこっ
Amen, amen, amen. Are you so, going to bring in some right language? That, that I'm getting prompted to ask, um, to call upon angels, guides, and divine light beings, and to use the co-created energy that we are co-creating, myself and Wolfgang, right now, as well as everyone who takes part in this many times space reality. You are all helping co-create this session um, energetically outside of space and time. I'm asking to use the positive power of our combined light to bring any false light teachers, gurus, any parasitical networks up to the light, um, taking all of these beings or entities that are working through them up to the highest court of spiritual justice to deal with in accordance with highest good and with the light and asking individual councils and individual dimensions and ind individual uh, cities, states, countries where this may be happening to interfere now on our behalf. I am consenting to this. I'm sure Wolfgang is consenting to this. If you give individual consent, this should help it um in your individual area so anything you may be personally plugged into this is just a way of um, almost bringing the entire horrible parasitical spiritual pyramid scheme up to the light so the people above you the people above them anyone else that's got plugged we would just like these whole systems now to be brought up to the light um, we're going into the new golden age and we have no place for this anymore none of us gave consent for this we we have free will so we would like all of these people brought up to the light and dealt with in accordance with justice anything that people have done on purpose to other people we would like to have them feel the instant karma of this we would like everyone to be uh, protected from having any further implantations we would like everyone to be protected from any sort of revenge or booby traps or anything coming back on us but we would like to hand all of this up to the divine now calling on lord shiva to oversee this process thank you and make sure that all of this is in accordance with highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome we are sending this with pure light and love we would just like this to stop as much as possible thank you in accordance with highest good amen 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 and if you see lord shiva smile and send him love mm -hmm. you know how to do it most of you amen There's no more light language. That was what they wanted me to uh, finish my bit with. Good. I think. Uh, unless you have anything else that you want to chat. Okay, so we asked now, and we thank the beings that came and helped. Um, you know, and now we ask for integration. You know, if anything dark or inappropriate has come to us, through us, or between us, you know, please clear this. You know, and you will notice, you know, we always do this invocation, and Natty knows. You know, when we work together, we always do invocations of protection, nothing dark being transferred between us, nothing inappropriate energies being returned back. You know, very important, these kind of protocols. Okay, so yeah, please, you know, clear any darkness that has come to us or is still surrounding us, you know, and waiting to attack us. Mm -hmm. And surround us with this powerful aura of love and light of source that's completely repulsive, you know, to the dark side beings, keeping them far away or just transmuting them, making them lose their polarity to the dark side to service to self, you know. And we also like to have this, our own darkness transmuted, you know, really easy with ease. You know, seeing both sides of the coin simultaneously and in integrating this lesson, transcending duality. Please help us with this. Amen. Amen. And then return to us, you know, all these energies, you know, that got stolen you know, um, from, um, you know, other gurus, false light beings, you know, massage therapists, you know, and other, you know, people that we 
trusted, you know, they were in authority, and that we trusted. You know, return the stuff that was stolen, you know, from them, you know, to us in a purified, auspicious form. You know, whatever dark karma and other stuff they dumped into us to sabotage us, to steal our energies, like cords, you know, dark implements you know, and other things, also entities and energies. You know, but especially karma dumping, all this stuff you like to have you know, purified and returned to source, you know, and maybe to be used, recycled as healing energy, you know, and love and light, you know, clear the pain, but keep the wisdom, so to say. Mm -hmm. We give permission to this, amen, amen, amen. And now, you know, all these soul fragments of ours can reintegrate with us, you know, since it has been purified, you know, they were, before I'm out of this, I'm not putting up with this crap, you know. So all these, the higher or more refined aspect of our soul, you know, that also have been liberated now, we ask to rejoin us, but of course in a purified and auspicious state. And then we like to have them updated to the latest and best divine blueprints. You know, of course, we have your high self to side on that. Um, um, um. And one, two, three, um, you know, you're fully grounded now in back and vacant consciousness. And, you know, surrounded by the love of source and have a wonderful day or night. Beautiful. Thank you, Wolfgang. <laughs> well, thank you, Nelly, for this co-creation. You know? okay. And for all the other healers, you know, out there, I have to say, you know, find somebody, you know, you can exchange, you know, massages with or, you know, Reiki healing with or whatever healing modality you have and experiment. You know? I did so, you know, 30 years ago. <laughs> You know, it's an old English professor, you know, I mean, you know, highly intelligent, intuitive, you know, started channeling, doing all kinds of stuff. You know? So this is good, you know, otherwise, and, I mean, of course, we are available for healings and so on. And, um, but not everybody can afford, you know, this on a constant basis, at least, you know. So for the average stuff, you might just, you know, switch with your friends and learn on the way. You know, and for the heavy stuff, like taking it apart in transmission, so to say, you know, you come to some more seasons, you know, spiritual technicians. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, we love you. You know, check out Natty's, you know, videos on her channel. Check out my other videos. You know, if you resonate with our message, we love you a long time. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs>